everybody, welcome back, unboxing time, Mary's here. Hello. And today, oh my god, y'all aren't gonna believe this. This showed up today, and we're opening it today. Wait, and what? It's, and it's coming out like five days after we got it, so we're actually opening a box in a reasonable time from when we received it. That's not on brand for us. I know, right? Welcome to the November 2020, actually this is technically the October, no, this is the November 2020 Marvel Collector Core. And we have the Infinity Saga. And it's the end credit scenes, which now we're, we were trying to figure out, uh, does that mean I'm trying just the end credit scenes from the Infinity War and Endgame, or end credit scenes in general from the whole MCU? Now I looked up at least a little bit. Endgame originally did not have any post or mid credits, right? But they added something we never saw for the re-release, and I haven't watched it on home video yet. Uh, Wait a minute, I thought Infinity. Infinity War didn't have. Wait a minute. Well, Infinity War did, because I looked Wait, up. Which one? Which one was Endgame first? Endgame was last. Endgame was the end. Okay. Um, so Infinity War apparently had mid credit and post credit. I don't remember which is which, but one of them. I thought they didn't. Okay. I yeah. It was the other well, way Endgame did not until they re-released. I looked all this up when I was taking my shower. Um, so the one scene that I did remember, I just didn't realize it was an end credit or mid credit scene from Infinity War, is after the snap. Sam Jackson, Maria Hill, mm -hmm. and him using the pager to contact oh, Captain Marvel. That's right. But other than that, I don't. We don't really have a clue what could be in here. Even though Amazon kept trying to show me what's in here, every time I look at checking my orders, it's like, oh, this is on the way, and it has everything shown. I'm like, well, I don't. I, I don't want to know. I have no idea. Yeah. So, I guess there's one way for us to find out. There's no. There is tape. Okay. All right. Let me get in here and see these five pieces of Marvel. I've been busy today. I'm looking at all the other things he's unboxed. Uh, this is my 13th unboxing video, and I did a cook, cooking session for a Hot Ones video, and we maybe have like three more videos I'd like to make tonight, and maybe a gameplay. I don't think we're gonna do all that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I have been very busy. <laughs> all right, first and foremost, we get a t-shirt. Whoa, uh-oh, don't look. We'll get that in a minute. Okay. <laughs> I pulled out the pin. Oh, so it is going to be in credit scenes from all the movies. Okay. And maybe just all the Avengers movies. I don't know. But this is a great pop tee. Shawarma time. That's really cute. <laughs> That's really cute. We should have no issues with keying. Oh my god, I don't have to hold this. You know, I, st I should still hold it in front of your face just because. <laughs> just because. Um, That's really great. I love that it's the shawarma thing. Um, <laughs> especially... Uh, that they're all the pop versions of everybody. That's really cool. This material That's feels cute. good too. It just feels good. Mm. Actually, my hands are apparently really dry. No. Oh. <laughs> Excuse us. <laughs> um, that was probably too kinky for this video, but whatever. Mm. Uh, Let me get the pen. Yeah, Mary, why don't you get the pen? <laughs> uh, I'll be good. <clears throat> yeah, oh, she's being real good. Oh. Oh, 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 God, okay. It's a Groot. Well, I guess technically there was that dance with- Yeah, the dancing Groot, baby Groot. And then uh, she Drax, every time he looks over, he stops. Yeah. Okay, that's kind of cool. So. Hello, baby That's Groot. actually one of the best Marvel pop pins we've gotten, though. That's a great pop pin. There's something about this that has a very, uh, uh, Oh, what's the name of that show with Peter Griffin and Family, family Guy? guy. It's a very Family Guy vibe with the way the eyes look. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that. That's a really great pen. I like that pen a lot. So I guess I'll look at the sticker before we get to what is obviously. Actually, oh, I'm going to move the card under the box. Okay. Good, we did not look. And we got a sticker. Thanos with no stones. Mm -hmm. Fine, I'll do it myself. <laughs> What, masturbate? That's an interesting kink, Thanos. Gotta put on this metal glove to do it. Well, you don't know how it is with Titans, man. They get bored. <laughs> I guess you, you try a few things here and there. I... Uh, that's three items. We're running through this too fast. All right, so we have just the two things, huh? Yep. Oh, sorry. I've had, Are you okay? I've had too much hot sauce today. Very hot, hot sauces. Oop, I kind of saw the corner of your eye. Uh, hey, I call it. it Nick Fury. But he, that is actually. Oh, dusting Nick Fury. Oh, ooh, that's a keeper. The snapping in. That's a keeper. And I forgot we can do this too. Oh, okay. You're going to do the light thing? Help you out a little bit so you can see in the box a little bit better. 
Yeah, you can see him start. He's got the pager in his hand. He's starting yeah. To I can't tell if the dust is translucent or not. I don't think so. It doesn't look translucent, but that is very cool. I can't. Let me see your. And the back does not show, does not spoil the other one, so that's good. I'm trying to see if you can see. See if it has like the, the Captain Marvel insignia on the page or not, but it doesn't look it. Nah, I'm wondering if they uh, are just gonna give us a dusting Maria Hill as a counterpart. I hope we get something cooler than that, although that would still be pretty cool, to be honest, so I could be happy with that. Dusting Peter Parker, yeah, but that's not an end thing. Yeah, it's not an end credit, yeah. I do like this idea that the yeah. whole box is based on end credit scenes, though. Yeah. I think that's a clever idea. Um, although, technically, other than Baby Groot, because that was in Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. So, other than that, it's all been Avenger cut scene, uh, in credit scenes. Yeah. Stan Lee, maybe? Was he in a cut scene? In a credit scene? And, uh, there, I think there may have been a credit with him talking to like the, the Watcher The guys. Watcher, yeah, yeah. That'd be kind of cute, or, but I don't think we'll him, get that. Like, uh, as the FedEx guy or whatever. Yeah, but I don't think that was in, that was, was that an in credit? I think it was in credit. Tony Stank? Tony Stank. That could be cute. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to remember a bunch of the other end credit scenes, man. There's been so many in so many Marvel movies. <laughs> it's hard to keep up. Yeah. Uh, I know, because it's officially a Marvel movie now. It's uh, Ryan Reynolds with a gunshot wound to the back of his head over the script to uh, <laughs> X-Men Origins Wolverine. <laughs> That's totally the pop figure they would make, right? Totally. All right. All right, let's pull it out. Let's pull it out. Whip it out. <gasps> oh, that's cute. That's cute. Uh, I think it's Spider-Man. Like it's Spider-Man. We'll come back to the box here and see. In the chair. He pulls up for the PSA. Oh, okay. You know? So that's really cute. Where's my light? Let's get that on there. Yeah. Although, did we see him pull up a chair and sit backwards? I don't recall if we did. I, I don't, but it does say Spider-Man Homecoming, so you're probably right about where it... Hey kids, let's rap. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I like this one. I don't know if this is a keeper keeper for me. It is really cute. Mm -hmm. But I don't know, like Nick Fury dusting's pretty great. But that's a nice pop too. So I'm not gonna lie, that is that is really cool. Okay. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. <laughs> I wanna play more Spider-Man on PS5, Mary. Why do I have so many things to do? Mm, you tell me. Okay, I don't know how that's gonna work. Because of the pandemic shutting everything down, these boxes are planned out well in advance and made. So I'll tell you about next month's theme in a minute. But here's the card that shows off the Infinity Saga. The t-shirt, the pin, the pop, the pop, the sticker, the Infinity Saga thing. And you can read that, but we're gonna read it to you. And here's what I was saying. I'm not exactly sure how this is gonna work because the vast majority of us aren't that familiar with this. Eternals. Because technically, that movie mm -hmm. should have been out uh, last month. Oh, really? I, 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 is that right? Mm -hmm. I feel like that's right. I think it was supposed to be Eternals this year. I think it was supposed to be Black Widow and Eternals. I think Black Widow was supposed to be in February and Eternals was supposed to be in November. Something was supposed to be in November. And I know that we've been begging for the Eternals trailer. I think it was supposed to be the Eternals and that would make sense that then the January box would be the Eternals. So, you know, you got a magic, you're here, you want to use mine? You have yours? I have my magic answer. You can look that up while I read, that's fair. I'll, 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 I'll allow a phone look in. <laughs> All right, so, the end credit scene is a signature trait of Marvel Studios' Infinity Saga films. Mm -hmm. I would say, when, when was Marvel's Eternal supposed uh, to come out? Fine. Um, <laughs> this, Backseat Googling. I'm really, I'm a good Googler. Great Googly Moogly. This retail box pays homage to some of the iconic moments that have appeared on screen after the film's end, including Captain America's cameo from Spider-Man Homecoming and Nick Fury's appearance from Avengers Infinity War in pop form. A t-shirt of the shawarma scene from Marvel's The Avengers, a pen of Dancing Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy, and a decal of Thanos acquiring the Infinity Gauntlet from Avengers Age of Ultron. So at least they did hit three out of four Avengers movies, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and they're, they're saying Eternals is supposed to come out February next year. Oh, okay. Well, then this box would still be kind of early, but at least we'd have a trailer. Are they, are they saying that's when they're... No, they wouldn't be planning on it now. We don't have a schedule now. Well, I'm, I'm, everything is talking about when it's coming out. It's currently scheduled me, to come out. Let me try. What was the original release date of Marvel's Eternals movie? 
Okay, here we go. November 4th. Uh, it was it was scheduled to be released on November 6, 2020. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'm right. So that's what it was. Oh my god, I'm right. Look at me. I know I know movies. I know movies. <laughs> you 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 coming to me, bro? You gonna come to me, bro? I bring the maximum effort when it comes to movies. Well, actually, and avoiding well, cleaning. Now some things are saying February next year and other things are saying November next year. Well, I think February is when they were, and now they're like, we don't know. <laughs> we don't even know we're getting Black Widow. Um, Christmas? No. I mean, they might break down and do it, but I don't think they're gonna. Because now we have to wait till January 5th for uh, WandaVision even, so. Uh -huh. Okay. That's it. All right, so <laughs> pretty good box. Not the strongest. I love the t-shirt. The pin is great. Stickers are right. One pop is great. The other's clever and kind of cool. But that's how I feel about it. How do you feel about it? Uh, I, I, th this has probably been one of my better boxes for them, I think. I still think the Marvel Zombies one last month was... Well, that, but that's you. Yeah, zombies, of course. And it's, you know, it's, it's subjective, just like movies themselves. Each person gets to like what they like. It doesn't mean anybody's right or wrong. It's just how they feel. Mm -hmm. Like pineapples on pizza. Um, all right, so yeah, that's it. All right, so what do y'all think about it? Let us know. What's your favorite? What do you think they could have done in this box if they? Oh, I hit my 10k. If they <laughs> if they did something different. Um, what are some? What's your favorite cutscene? Uh, what would you like to have seen represented? All that kind of stuff. Geek out with us in the comments. We love hearing what you have to say. You can also click out them ah, thumbs up button. Give us that good old thumb of encouragement, as we do love to be encouraged. You can check out Patreon. It's a dollar a month. You get an extra video every single day. Video game let's plays, movie reviews, uh, 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 vlog every week. Lots of food stuff. I'm playing Spider-Man Miles Morales on the PS5. I'm 100% in that thing over there right now. So you know, come on over, become a Patreon peep. You might like it. <coughs> I'm dying from the hot sauce, y'all. Um, <laughs> thumb, comment, Patreon. That's it. We're going to get out of here so we can go see, open up some more stuff. I've made too many videos today. We'll see you all later.